Hello and welcome to the National Weather Service Pocatello's weather presentation for Wednesday, October 27th. This is what you'll see in this for key points. We have another low and trough that will increase the wind and bring some, some rain and snow to slopes that face mostly to the west and northwest. And in fact, we have issued a wind advisory for the Eastern Magic Valley and for portions of the Snake River Plain for this afternoon. And there is some light snow expected at some very high elevations in the central Idaho mountains and in the eastern highlands all the way from Utah border to the Montana border. And there are some even weaker lows expected on Friday and Saturday, Sunday. Uh, all through this you'll see that besides today, there's really uh, not a whole lot of significant weather. Uh, here's our current satellite picture. You can see the moisture streaming in uh, is considerably less than it has been on previous days here, uh, specifically Monday, Sunday night. So this is our outlook. Today we do have the wind advisory for the Snake Plain. That includes everything except the Idaho Falls and Rexburg areas. So uh, that would, in would include the Mud Lake area, the uh, Arco Desert, uh, the uh, uh, INL property, the Craters of the Moon National Monument, the Shoshone area, and all the lava beds, and then it would include the lower Snake River Plain. That would include Pocatello, Blackfoot, and American Falls. So, um, otherwise, um, <coughs> the trough will develop some chance of rain and snow in the mountains, the snow level staying still um, somewhat high, uh, especially uh, once you get into the afternoon. So a lot of it's going to change over to rain then. And the snow accumulations, uh, the most I could find uh, for the 24-hour period on Wednesday would be about three inches. And that would be in the higher elevations of, say, the Bear River Range and in the Sawtooth. Um, then we do get a break on Thursday, and then Friday, as I said, that uh, another low makes its approach. Um, this is a very weak low. Um, it is coming out of the northwest of us, and so it is basically cooler air, and it's pretty dry. It's not making any sort of connection to subtropical moisture like the storm did for Monday. Um, so there's just a chance of some rain and snow, and you can see it's mostly, again, the eastern highlands, um, and then uh, the, uh, the central Idaho mountains is pretty much where it's limited to. And then Saturday, uh, that sort of shifts a little bit to the south. And then on Sunday, it starts to evaporate. It's only really on the highlands. And that, of course, is Halloween. All right, so this is a surface weather depiction. You can see where the snow is, where the rain and snow is in the blue. Snow is in white here. So the Central Idaho Mountains, it is this morning, uh, like I said, mostly snow. And again, it's pretty light stuff. Um, and in fact, uh, they don't even show any sort of low moving through. Uh, here's where the winds are going to be their strongest. Uh, again, it's only for a short time from at noon until 5 p.m. at the latest. And then it should start decreasing. Still be windy, but uh, not reaching what we call wind advisory criteria, which is an excess of 30 mile an hour winds sustained. So you can see that area basically runs from Shoshone and Burley all the way over to at least Pocatello and, and sort of the central location into Arco. Uh, as you get closer to Idaho Falls, it starts to um, decrease considerably. Okay, here's the evolution of the snow for today. So you can see basically an inch or two every six hours here. So that's not exactly a very quick rate. And that area is in excess of one. It's very limited. You can see it's just the extreme high elevations here west of Stanley and Sun Valley. And then down here in the Bear River Range. And maybe a few isolated other mountain ranges here in Wormhide County and Custer. See even less during the um, uh, late morning up to noon. And then in the uh, afternoon periods, you can see, again, this is mostly it's changed over to rain. And so the snow is very limited and staying less than an inch. 
And then the high temperature for this afternoon, we are looking at very little recovery from yesterday. So temperature is still 50 to 55 in the Snake River Plain in the 40s and maybe some low 50s in uh, Central Idaho Mountains in the valley locations. Um, very similar temperatures in the South Central Highlands uh, when comparing them to the Snake River Plain. And the overnight lows, you can see it uh, as it starts to clear off, uh, especially in areas to the northwest and then over the Island Park area where the cold air is the strongest as it's coming in under the northwest flow. Um, we're getting temperatures back down into the 20s. All right, here's what little snow uh, sort of on um, on s uh, Friday. You can see it's limited very much to um, locations here uh, in the uh, highland areas, in the eastern highlands. Um, and then you can see just how high pressure is starting to dominate uh, here for Thursday. Uh, Thursday's high, as you can see, with clear skies, our temperatures spike up a solid uh, 5 to 8 degrees. And then overnight lows with more cloudiness, or less cloudiness, rather, uh, temperatures continue to get cold. All right, then... Uh, in preparation for what's coming on Saturday, uh, we do have a slight chance threat of some, some limited areas of uh, shower activity, um, you know, low elevation rain, high elevation snow uh, from this low, which is going to cross through and be more of a factor actually on Saturday. But still not much. You can see here even 6 p.m. on Friday as that low gets closer just really light snowfall. Most of it is up here as a slight chance of rain. And the same would be said for, it does spread over into Island Park and West Yellowstone. But it'll basically keep the, or leave the Snake River Plain, Eastern Magic Valley, and a lot of the Southern Highlands uh, completely alone. Here are the temperatures. You can see some of the warmest. The warming trend continues. Uh, basically mid 50s to mid 60s for the Snake River Plain. And even Stanley's getting to 55. And here are the overnight lows. Pretty much seasonal for this, this time of year. And then here on Saturday, <coughs> when the low will be uh, more over in here, uh, you could see the temperatures have cooled down with the cloud cover. Um, Still not bringing a whole lot of rain with us, but it will, it, or any sort of precipitation, but it will be bringing, uh, will be enhancing those northwesterly winds and we'll be bringing cold air back basically into, uh, especially in the, into the Snake River Plain. Here are the overnight lows. You can see uh, once again getting cold. That's all I have. If you have any further questions, you can always contact us at this telephone number here. Or check out the weather yourself at weather.gov slash Pocatello. Thanks for watching.